Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review and packing video of the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat Bag. Um, I just got this and I wanted to love it, but I'm going to go through some things that will kind of show you how I feel about it. Um, I've heard great things about this bag, so it may be a great bag for you. Um, so we'll just go through what it comes with, what it has, and how it packs up. So starting on the outside, it has these handles right here. Um, I don't really like these. They're short, so if I were going to put it over my shoulder, it's just kind of uncomfortable for me. Um, but it does have a messenger strap right here. It's okay. Um, the length on it, you can adjust it, but I just don't find it to be very comfortable. Now that strap with this strap turns into, if you go in the back here, backpack mode. So this comes off, it unbuttons, and then you can put this on one side, the messenger strap on the other, and then it goes into backpack mode. Now I found that if you just put these on normal, it is very long. Um, I saw a hack where you could double it up, so run it through here and put both clips on the bottom, and that was a good length, but then you have, and depending on how you have your straps adjusted, you have these, so you could have four layers of straps that you're trying to keep straight when you're taking the bag on and off, so I did not like that. So if I were to use this bag, I probably would not use it in backpack mode, which is my favorite mode right now for carrying a diaper bag. So that's just kind of sad to me. Um, it's one thing I don't like about it. This bag comes with a changing pad, which is a good size. It has head, toes, um, and it's cushy. I'm not using it in this video because it's so big. There's not really anywhere good to put it in the bag. There's a pocket that I think is for a change pad, but it doesn't stay closed with this pad in it. So I did not use that. Here on the back, there's no pockets, which I reviewed the tribe toe and there were a bunch of pockets on the back, which was nice. Um, I wouldn't have used them for bottles like that bag had, but it's nice to have an extra outside pocket to put stuff in. There's insulated bottle pockets on both sides. They're good sized. I didn't really have any complaints about that. And then the bag uh, comes with stroller straps, so that's nice to include those. Um, the front here has two pockets. They have magnet closures, which is nice. In this pocket here, I keep my wallet, which is a small set piece with a B-charge and coin purse inside of it. And then I also put a pen in that pocket. In this pocket, I have my hand and face wipes. I actually had to get a smaller pack than what I normally use because the normal wipes I used didn't fit in there, but those fit fine. And then I also had my hand sanitizer in there. Um, there's no other outside pocket, so I kind of thought it would be nice to have like a big slip pocket here, but those are the only outside pockets on this bag. But inside, the inside has wonderful organization. So on top I just have my Itsy Ritzy snack bag, and then here I have gummies, granola bars, raisins um, for my daughter. And then I don't have any pouches uh, except for the Itsy Ritsy snack bag, and then I have a mommy bag in here. But other than that, I just use the organization of the bag. So in the main compartment, the only thing I had was obviously the snacks and then a swaddle blanket, which I would use as a nursing cover, and then a blanket if we needed it. And that's all. There's still more room. You could put stuff on top, but that's all I usually carry. Um, we'll go through the side pockets. So... This pocket right here, I had three diapers. I, you can fit more in there, those fit in there easily, but I usually only carry three, and usually I don't even use one. And then I have a half pack of wipes in the other pocket, and those fit in there fine. They could have been fuller and still fit in there. Then this is a magnetic pocket, which I think is where the change pad that comes with it is supposed to go, but 
It's not very strong, so when you have things in here, it kind of opens up. And the other change pad is so big, it kind of cuts off right here and pushes pressure on it. So I just used my light change pad from my Be Sporty. It matches this. I could fold it up if I wanted it to be smaller, but I think it fits in there fine. And that's all I put in there just because that doesn't stay closed. And then here in the side pocket, it's a little mesh pocket. Now, oh, and I didn't show. Over here I have my daughter's drink. It fit in there fine. But when you have pocket or bottles in here, the pockets on the inside are a little bit tighter. So all I put in here with that bottle being in there was a bib and a burp quilt. And those fit in there fine, but I don't think I could have put much more with having the water bottle in there. On the other side, I put my change of clothes. So I have a wet bag and an extra onesie. Now I could have put more in there because I did not utilize this outside pocket. Then in this front side here, there's three slip pockets. The outer two are bigger and then the middle one's a little bit smaller. So in this one, I just put toys. So this little light up music thing that he likes. And then a little rattle. In the middle, I put my Kleenex. Those fit in there perfectly. I was gonna use this one as my toy pocket, but it was a little bit too small. And then in this pocket here, I just have my pacifier and toy wipes. And that's all I put in there. Now there is a large zip pocket on the back here. And I put just my mommy things in here. I kind of keep it separated. So I use the Itsy Ritzy Everything Bag. I think that's what it's called. It's about the same size of the bigger snack bag. And I just have um, like makeup in here. I, I'm not gonna be able to get unzipped, but I also put the first aid kit in here. So I have that all in one pouch. And then my other mommy things that I have in here is just deodorant if I need it. Um, some hairspray and hand lotion. And I could have put a lot more in there if I needed to, but that's just kind of all my mommy stuff. And I thought it was nice to be able to separate it from the rest of the bag. So that's what it looks like empty. So you have the big slip pocket back here, the two larger elastic pockets, the mesh pockets on each side, um, and then these three pockets, and then the zipper pocket. Um, these pockets would be good for bottles probably if you didn't need to keep them warm or cold. So there's probably a lot of different ways you could pack this bag, but I liked that style really well. Um, I liked how it packed up. The only thing I don't like is how you carry the bag and you know that's a big important factor about a diaper bag. So there's the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat. Um, it's a good size bag. It holds a lot. It packs well. Um, and you don't need pouches, which is one of my favorite things, not using pouches. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any other questions or want to see this pack differently, go ahead and comment below. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you.